How should I invest $20,000? I came by some cash a year ago, so I put $20,000 in a certificate of deposit which will end this weekend at about $20,500. Now I'm wondering what to do with it. I don't really know much about investing, so I'm wondering what the most logical long-term move would be for me right now. My bank currently has CDs from 6 months to 5 years, all at 0.75% interest. But I've heard that investing in stock indexes is low risk over long periods of time. If I were to put this money in an index now, while the market is plummeting, would this be a smart way to start saving for retirement? Or should I hold on to the cash and try to buy a rental property? Or is there a fourth, smarter option? Hashtag specific goals edit hash. I'm specifically looking for a low risk, comma, low maintenance option that makes the most sense over a long period time, 30 years ish. Stashing it away until retirement would be my first thought for the money, but I'm not sure if it might be smarter to keep it available just in case. Hashtag about me, hash, I'm in my 30s, living in the US. I don't own any property. I'm currently making below the poverty line, but I'm getting by. I have no debt. I have $2,000 in a savings account. I may be moving across the country for graduate school in a little over a year. If you don't expect to need the money for the next 30 plus years, the best thing you can do is invest in the stock market. The return on investment for CDs is abysmal. They're only a good choice if you need absolute certainty that your investment won't lose value or won't lose value too quickly after adjusting for inflation. Real estate is risky, particularly on the small scale. A single stroke of bad luck can wipe out your entire investment. The stock market is also risky, but unlike with real estate, you've got enough money to mitigate that risk by spreading your investment e.g. with a mutual fund, an index fund, or simply buying a wide variety of stocks. Expect your investment to lose value in the near future, the market is way down, but I don't think it's quite hit bottom yet, and long-term fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic will keep things unsettled for a year or more.